Hi guys, my name is Stefano and on this channel we try to learn together how to paint miniatures. Recently I painted the Biologus Putrifier, a miniature from the Death Guard of Warhammer 40,000. I thought it could be a good occasion to learn together how to make a glass effect. Coming up! The Biologus Putrifier is a Death Guard miniature from Warhammer 40,000, widely different from the rest of the Marines of this Chaos faction. The Biologus Putrifier is tasked to spread the harmful plagues of Nargol by refining the infected savage prepared by the full blight spawns. On his back he carries contagious grenades, containing the most harmful plagues. He also carries with him many containers of savage that will be the subject of this video to learn together how to paint a glass effect. I bought this miniature directly from Games Workshop and it had been in my closet for over a year, centrally before the Warhammer Conquest came out, the Ashets collection where this miniature could be bought with the issue 15. We are not going to see how to paint the wall Biologus Putrefier miniature, this is not what we will do today. In any case, you can find the videos about how to paint the Death Guard Marines in this link on the top right corner. However, there is one useful thing to know if you want to paint the Biologus Putrefier. In fact, you should not glue the wall miniature but paint the body and the two racks on its shoulder separately. I have glued them all together only after having painted the miniature and only partially the racks, leaving the ampullis to finish just for this tutorial. First, let's try to understand how we will achieve this effect. We will start from a black base, imagine this is the syringe that the Biologus Putrefier is holding in his hands. We will then paint one half with green as base color. Then we will use a lighter and very diluted color with brush strokes from the bottom to concentrate the color on the upper part in order to create a gradient. With the same color we will paint some dots to simulate bubbles. With grey we will make a bit of edge of light on the dark part of the syringe, while with white we will simulate a light reflection. For the syringe we will stop here, for the ampullis on the back instead the process will be the same but we will color the black part with a dark green to simulate a bottle glass effect. These are the light and dark colored pairs used for the ampullis, plus grey and white for reflections. I choose cold shades, which seem to be more suited to the character, but there are people who color the ampullis as if they all contain the classic green slime of Nargol. As always, the choice is up to you. Throughout the tutorial I used a medium sized brush from the army painter called Wargamer Character. So as mentioned I started with a basic color green for this arrange. I thought I immediately placed all the color pairs on the wet palette in order to have them ready to use. I then switched to jungle green, very diluted, giving several thin coats, from bottom to top, being careful not to go over the black part of this range. Once dry, I drew dots to simulate the bubbles.
I then defined the edges of this arrange with an Egormancer clock. With a tip of matte white, I drew a reflection of light. You can give it the shape you prefer. Maybe just an horizontal stroke or a vertical stroke. At this point, with the same technique described so far, I switched to coloring the large ampoule on his right hand and all the ampoules on the back, using the colors already positioned on the palette. Always dilute the color and apply more layers, even for base colors. Take your time without rushing. Wait for one layer to dry and pass the brush again. If you are in a hurry and you apply a single thick layer, you will ruin the miniature and you will hardly get any shades of color. Same thing for giving the color shades to the ampoules. Use the lighter color almost like a wash, bringing the color from the bottom up, so that it settles at the top, creating the gradient we are looking for.
For the ampullis, I avoided the grey edge a light, preferring to color the missing part with dark green, obtained by mixing the colors already present on the wet palette. always simulating a hypothetical light from the above. As for the syringe, I created some light reflection on the ampullis. As a final touch, I gave all surfaces a coat of gloss varnish, a transparent product that makes the surface shiny. This was my second time I tried to make an English video, so if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, leave a comment to let me know what other effort you would like to see in the next video, and see you next time. Bye guys!